Hello, parents and teachers, and thank you for taking an interest in the future of our youth here in Kings County. I would like to tell you a quick bit about Create California. My time management sucks, so I have not thus far had time to create a new video, but the video I recorded back in April does a decent job of explaining things, and not much has changed since then. So enjoy, and then at the very end, I will cut in again and talk a little bit about how we can bring this incredible arts integrated curriculum to Kings County. There is an arts integration revolution happening throughout California, and it's time that we kickstart those changes here in Kings County. In this video, I will quickly go over what this arts revolution is, why it's needed, who's responsible for it, and how we can move forward in bringing it to Kings County. Arts integration is curriculum that integrates the arts and creativity into the daily lives of students. It's math, science, history taught through dance and music and painting and, and all while meeting state education standards. As an example, and one that I was fortunate to witness firsthand, in a fourth grade classroom in the Burton School District in Porterville, students read an excerpt from a high school level text. And they sat together picking out emotion words, defining them and discussing them, talking about fear, anger, embarrassment, joy, then paintings were projected onto the wall, and the class picked out and discussed emotional characteristics. So could the bared teeth be anger, fear, the raised eyebrows, uh, surprise? This was review. The students broke out into smaller groups, and they practiced lines that they'd already written, lines meant to convey the emotions from the text. Then they acted them out in front of a green screen in front of the rest of the class with a kid on the camera, a kid on the lights, a kid on the microphone, then they went in as a team and they changed the background to, to reflect the emotions that they were trying to convey. A fourth grade class. That's what arts integration looks like. Now, why is it important? Let's take a deeper look at that fourth grade lesson. First off, high school level text in the fourth grade, but they were identifying emotion words, defining them, and discussing them. They wrote their own lines to convey those emotions, then acted those lines out using body language to further their point. Then they changed the background of their scenes to reflect the emotions of the scene. Understanding and adequately expressing our emotions is such a vital part of being human. And that's just one layer of this lesson. They were working in big and small groups, making decisions together and learning that every part of the project is important to the whole, that holding the microphone contributes as much as acting out the lines. They were learning video production, which is a whole other can of worms, cinematography, the dynamics of sound, color, theory, lighting, acting. This lesson was emotional intelligence in action in a fourth grade classroom. And it met the learning styles of tactile, auditory, and visual learning. Or, wait. I'm not doing another take. It met the learning needs of tactile, auditory, and visual learners. Uh, it All at once. And it prepared them for an unpredictable technological world. Who's responsible for this arts integration revolution? Create California. Create California is a statewide arts education nonprofit made up of like 15 other nonprofits, all doing the amazing work that they're already doing, but with one clear shared goal. Quality arts education for every student. They were formed in 2011 by the California State Superintendent's Office, California Parent Teacher Association, California Arts Council, and California Alliance for the Arts. Under the instruction of State Superintendent Tom Torlakson, a task force was formed uh, to investigate and report on the state of arts and education in California and to make a recommendation moving forward. Over 100 experts in creativity and in education were brought together, and what they found was that 88% of California public schools are not meeting arts education standards. Uh, and that's really interesting when you consider that California is the creative capital of the world. Uh, and California is also the sixth largest economy in the world. A full quarter of that, 25% of our two th $2 trillion economic output every year in California is generated by the creative industry. 
the recommendation from the task force was arts integrated education, uh, which we just looked at. Create California is gaining support and momentum throughout the state. Now, how do we move our Kings County public schools towards arts integrated curriculum? Thank you for watching. I know I'm not the most concise person in the world. I hope that I did a decent job of explaining things. Uh, if you have any questions at all, I will do my best to answer. Just reach out. As for how I think we bring this to Kings County, what it boils down to is getting parents and teachers engaged and informed to the point that they can show up to school board meetings and move things in this direction. Uh, there's a document that school districts can sign acknowledging their need for equity arts access and committing to moving in that direction. Um, it is called the Declaration of the Rights of All Students to Equity and Arts Learning. Uh, and that, if you want to read that document, you can find it on Create California's website, which is a great place to begin anyway. Just explore that site, read their resources, and become informed. Because I recognize that I am no expert, and I'm not a teacher, I'm not a parent. I'm just a guy that believes and sees that it can be done. Uh, so. What I'm thinking is a series of small focused events exploring Create California and arts integrated curriculum. Uh, and these events will shortly follow the November 12th Youth Art Hop. Um, on November 12th from 6 to 8 p.m., uh, downtown youth will have the opportunity to display their art in a handful of our downtown businesses. Uh, that's a great opportunity to come out and support these young creative people. Um, and then at that event, I will have posters up with the dates and uh, event names of these focused events to follow.